Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to my Road to Glory on Thief 16 Ultimate Team. And today, with episode 11, we're going to be playing some more games, and we're going to be trying out uh, the new team that we did build. So the first team that we do come up against is a very good French team. He's got Martial, he's got Alessandrini, who's a very good player, and uh, yeah, he's got a lot of good uh, French players there. But here's us who take the lead using Gabbiadini, uh, using his heading ability. Very, very good cam. Uh, I am going to probably change uh, the instructions and everything for the team in the future. Uh, to actually make him get into the area on headers because uh, he is a very, very good player in the air. He's six foot one, he's strong, and uh, yeah, he's just an absolute beast. Uh, so I will probably set him to get into the box for crosses uh, because he has got a very good heading ability uh, in the air. But Dybala does also get the goal there, uh, so that puts us 2-0 up. Uh, but he does end up getting a goal back. Um, yeah, pretty bad defending by me, but Diara does get the goal and uh, does make it 2-1. We get the ball on the wing with Konoplyanka, who is a very good player this year. I definitely recommend that if you are looking for a very good and a quite cheap winger uh, for about um, 15k now, he is definitely your man to get. He is a, uh, well, a lot of people do say he's better than Ronaldo. I wouldn't exactly say that, but he is very, very good. He's one of the best wingers on this game. And uh, yeah, his goal record uh, that you will see uh, after these games uh, does prove that. But Gabbiadini, really, really nice chip there. Really nice goal. Getting his second goal of the game. Uh, that does secure us a 4-1 victory. And it also secures our place um, in Division 7. So we're not going to get relegated. Started off pretty badly. But as soon as I built the new team, uh, we got the win that we needed. And we are going to be staying up. But um, yeah, I decided to actually swap out Bonaventura for Parolo. Um, I just thought that that would be a slightly better option. I forgot to put Parolo in. I was going through centre mids and I didn't see him. Um, but yeah, he is definitely a better player. He's got over 70 in every stat. Uh, but we are going to keep Bonaventura and we might bring him in the future. But uh, Krasuriak is injured, so I was thinking maybe getting in Zomzi uh, or someone like that to put into the team. Uh, I think it actually has to be a severe uh, centre mid that we put in. So there's Eva Benega and uh, there's also Enzonzi. And Nzonzi is actually a really good defensive player. I've used him quite a bit this year uh, in a team that I built um, with. Uh, I actually built uh, one of Finch's squad builders that had Nzonzi in. And uh, yeah, Nzonzi did play really, really well for me in that team there. But uh, yeah, we decided to go and pick him up. And he's very, very cheap as well. Uh, for just uh, around about 1,000 coins, you can pick him up for like 700 if you snipe him uh, on the 59th minute. Uh, yeah, you can get him very, very cheap. And he's a very good player as well. Uh, if you are looking for a cheap alternative to the likes of Konoplyanka, he is a very good player uh, to put into your team. Very good defensively. He'll make a lot of good tackles. He's also pretty good on the ball. He's got good dribbling and uh, also pretty good passing. But really nice dribbling there from Aturba. Using the LTRT dribbling. And uh, he gets us the goal in our second game of the episode. 15th minute. And uh, we are already 1-0 up, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, this team here, I just started destroying everyone that I came up against. And uh, that was awesome. He does clear it off the line. Parola gets the ball and he just smashes it into the bottom corner. And uh, yeah, the keeper got a hand on it, but that did end up going in. But yeah, it's just so weird. I was using some decent teams on paper, they looked good. But when I played with them, they just didn't really play very well. They weren't up to scratch. But I've used this team here, and just every single game I've played with the team so far, I have won. And I've won pretty comfortably as well. As you can see, I were 2-0 up after 40 minutes. Gabbiadini, who is one of the key players in this team, uh, uses his strength there. He is a very strong player for a cam, which is very good. He's good in the air, as I said um, earlier on. And uh, yeah, he's just a very good player. So I definitely recommend you pick him up because he does get his second goal of the game. And I think he got two goals in the last game as well. So that is four goals from two games, uh, which I think puts him as the top scorer in the team. But look at this, Dybala. Dybala wants to be the top scorer in the team, that's for sure. Dybala is the best player on this game, in my opinion. Uh, the best player I've used by far, uh, I have used Messi, and he has outscored Messi. I've used the lone Messi. Uh, maybe that's just because he's uh, in the right wing position. But look at that finish from Dybala. He can just get you goals. He wants to score. Whenever he gets the ball, you are going to have a really good chance of scoring. Uh, he can score from pretty much anywhere. He's got good long shots. He's, uh, he can score chips like that. He can score near post, far post, finesse, outside of the boot, penalties. He's got very good free kicks as well. He's just a, an all-round player uh, to use in the striker position. He will do everything for you. But the thing that I find is best for him is volleys. He literally scores every single volley. Whenever it comes in in that position there, he will score every single one, I think. Uh, using Dybala, not necessarily in the road to glory, uh, but uh, in other games. Uh, I think I've had about six volleys with him, and I've scored every single one. But look at this fantastic dribbling there. 
Very unlucky. That would have been a really nice goal after the scoop turn. Uh, he does have the, the shot parried by the keeper, but Kunat Plianka just absolutely smashes that into the back of the net. Really nice finish, and that does finish off uh, the game. 8-0 victory. And uh, yeah, what a start to uh, our Division 7 campaign. That is a 4-1 victory and an 8-0 victory. And uh, yeah, that definitely puts us on course for promotion. Hopefully we will be able to get promoted and uh, get on into uh, into Division 6 in the future. But uh, look, we do come up against a team which I think we came up against um, last, last episode. I think we came up against this team. He has got the same front three, the same formation, very similar players except I think uh, one player who he subbed out. So that, uh, that's very interesting. We have come up against the same guy. That'll be pretty weird because, um, yeah, there's like 20,000 people we could have come up against. We do end up coming up against him. Uh, but, yeah, this guy here does get the goal to begin with. Uh, Paco Alcacer does get the goal. And, uh, yeah, for a non-rare player, if you look at his stats on Foothead, he actually looks really good and uh, could be a player uh, that we could maybe use in a fitness team in the future. But I'm thinking of maybe changing the fitness team as well um, because Martin seems to be the only player. Uh, who is good in that team because we are using the fitness team here and uh, yeah it just doesn't seem to be playing as well as you can see in the last games we want 4-1 uh, to secure our, our position in, the, in Division 7 then the first game of the of the new season we do win 8-0 um, but uh, yeah this game here using the fitness, new, fitness team is a lot harder we do only get a 2-1 victory there um, and uh, yeah final uh, game that we are going to play does end up as a rage quit so I decided I get on into another game um, later on, but uh, yeah, I just had to make a few changes. So bring Kryshoriak back into the team for Inzomzi, and that very early on rage quit. It wasn't really a rage quit; it was just a disconnection. Did actually really help because um, it meant that uh, Kryshoriak became fit again. Gabbiadini, who was injured in an earlier game, also became fit, as did Aturbe. That's why we were using the fitness team just to, to get them back to fitness. But yeah, we come up against this team here. He's got Messi, and that is not a lone Messi, as you can see. It's not got the blue thing that Bale has around him. Playing him as a centre mid, very, very interesting choice. He's got Aguero. Uh, he has got some very good players, but uh, it is us who take the lead. Dybala getting a really nice um, really nice finish there. But he got quite lucky. Uh, the keeper could have saved that. It was Courtois, I think, so a very solid keeper. But uh, yeah, we did end up getting the finish. But we do give away a penalty. Uh, I think that's Rajani giving away the penalty. And Torre on penalty duties for Man City. Always scores his penalties. And uh, for this guy here as well. He does finish a very nice penalty down the middle. Uh, no keeper is going to be saving that right above the keeper. But then, look at this. Uh, it's half time. And very, very weird. It freezes. And basically quits. I don't really know what happened. It just froze the game. Uh, for, for, for like infinite amount of time I couldn't do anything and the game was basically over so um, I did well like wait half an hour uh, the, my opponent actually quit he sent me a message saying that he quit uh, saying that he'd give me the win so yeah thanks thanks to whoever did that if you're watching the video I doubt you are but uh, if you did quit so that I could win thanks but um yeah the game froze and I also had to quit so I'm not too sure I think that ended uh, like it didn't give uh, it, it's as if we hadn't played the game um, so that's not too bad um, normally if you do quit it counts as a loss but yeah that's not too bad it's a bit of an interesting sort of thing that did happen uh, but yeah I think that puts us on six points of two games in uh, division seven which is really good hopefully we'll be able to get promoted uh, in uh, into division six in the next couple of games so uh, yeah hope you guys did enjoy the episode if you did be sure to smash the likes subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you guys tomorrow for another few 16 ultimate team video take care